This is Ron Craig for The Rooted Word, and we're continuing our study in the book of Jacob, or James. We're on verse 13. We're going to do 13 through 16. So I'm going to read the King James Version first, and then The Rooted Word. Verse 13, King James. Let no man say, when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. And verse 13 in the rooted word says, No one who is being pierced may say, I am pierced in order to separate me from God. For God is unpierced by bad-natured people and troublesome things, and he himself pierces no one. So, let's go to the next one, verse 14. But every man is tempted, King James, when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Now that sounds like it tells how it happens, right? But listen to the rooted word, verse 14. Each person is pierced under one's own passion, superimposed on its object, and driven to sacrifice, being drawn out in a shameful exhibition and being baited with a decoy. The word decoy is actually there in the Greek. It's there. It's it's decoy, right? So, there are some radical differences between the King James and the rooted word because we're going back to the original language and we're saying, what does it literally say? And let's include all of it, not just a single word for a single word. Let's look at the entire picture of this word and draw that to the surface. That's why it's much richer. Again, I'll read it again. Each person is pierced under one's own passion, superimposed on its object, and driven to sacrifice, being drawn out into a shameful exhibition and being baited with a decoy. It was not something of God. It was not God. And we are superimposing on that object our passion. And then we're being driven to sacrifice to that, and then we're caught in this public ex- exhibition, this shameful exhibition, because of a decoy, we're baited out. Verse 15, King James. Now verse 15, King James. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. The rooted word. Next, This passion, superimposed on its object and driven to sacrifice, having helped jointly to conceive, produces its empty allotment. Moreover, the empty allotment, having been taken off to a final destination, ends pregnancy and death. Yes, that's what it says. King James, then when lust hath conceived... It brings it bringeth forth sin. And sin when it's finished brings forth death. The rooted word again is next this suit passion superimposed on its object and driven to sacrifice, having helped jointly to conceive, produces its empty allotment, that's sin, empty allotment. Moreover, the empty allotment having been taken off to a final destination ends pregnancy and death. That's what it says. Okay. Okay. That bringeth forth death. Literally, it means to end, it ends pregnancy and death. So, verse 16. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Okay. Now, we break it here at 16 instead of putting that with 17. Because it ends like this. In the rooted word, 16, do not be tricked into wandering, my dear brothers. That is connected with baited, with a decoy, right? It moves it farther. You're baited with a decoy, but then you're tricked into wandering because of humiliation, right? What did Adam and Eve do? They like hid. They ran. They hid. They covered themselves and they hid. They covered themselves and they hid, right? Do not be tricked into wandering, my dear brothers. Right?